only clips I saw of the Olympics was that they were playing a lot of anime music. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, doing yeah. anime yeah. stuff. Yeah, because yeah. 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 so when you come out in boxing, you're allowed to play your own music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so, yeah. and some of them, one of them did Demon Slayer, one of the Japanese guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, oh, yeah. I, I, I saw there was a Greek person who did the uh, One Piece thing. Yeah, did like gear two in One Piece <laughs> and won the fucking what, uh, gold medal as well. <laughs> what a bad And ass. I think he set a record as well. So I'm just yeah. like, yo, One Piece stands, fan uh, One Piece stands, like fucking stand up, man. Yeah, the, I think one of the volleyball matches with the Japanese team, they were playing the Haiku theme oh my as well. God. Like during like the interval of and stuff. And I'm like, that's so cool. But yeah, well, like the opening, the only cool part about the opening ceremony was the fact that, that from what I saw, cause like admittedly, like compared to some of the other opening ceremonies that I've seen. It was a very artistic one, I'd say. Yeah. It was not what that means. It was, artistic. It was very bare bones. It was bare bones. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the references, I think that people were looking for were not in the opening. So yeah. I think a lot of people are hoping that it comes out in the ending ceremony. But I think the only cool thing was that during the time when all of the countries were coming out, cause that's like a like an hour and a half segment of like all the countries coming yeah. out. They were playing like just basically the entire discography of Square Enix games. <laughs> like literally every Square Enix game you could think of, they were playing the music of. So like they literally opened with like the Dragon Quest theme and like yeah. they were playing Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, <laughs> like fucking Nier. They, they played a fucking Nier Automata yeah, song. Yeah, I, I heard the Nier song. <laughs> but not just ne any Nier Automata song, literally the most darkest, depressing Nier Automata <laughs> song that plays in like a really sad scene in the game. Oh my God. And me, it's like Malta. And it's just like <laughs> <laughs> fucking like, <laughs> It's fucking sad near automata music. <laughs> <laughs> it, was going out. it was really weird. But like, I'm just thinking like, because you know, I think the biggest question everyone had who watched the opening is like, where's all the Nintendo shit? Yeah, that's like, what I where's was. Where's Pokemon? Where's Mario? Where's all that stuff that they promised that like- It's kind of odd because normally thing. Japan has been quite patriotic with all of its, especially Pokemon. Right. Pokemon yeah. they, Japan is not as sweet, uh, what's the word? Uh, Japan has not been scared to embrace Pokemon right. as a yeah. national symbol. And like, you know, considering the fact that at the end of the last Olympics- Yeah, you know, the like, Mario thing. Yeah, yeah like yeah. our prime minister came out out of a pipe dressed yeah. as Mario. Right? Well, it could be a thing if Nintendo didn't want to do it, or it could have been a thing of- Or very... I think what a lot of people are waiting for is because they were like, Square Enix, we'll let you take the opening. But Nintendo uh, is the end. I don't know. Well, well, no, I, I, I think like, that's what people by, are by the time this has come out, we'll know the answer. To yeah, that. I guess yeah, so. Yeah. But like that's as of right now, that's what I think all the theories are. But yeah, I mean, like, do you think the opening was purposefully done the way it is, or is it just because of the world situation that they couldn't make it bigger? I feel that's, that's, what, that's what I assume. I think, I think it's the latter. Did honestly. you go back yeah. and watch other opening ceremonies? I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I watched the I watched the one at uh, the Beijing Olympics. Yeah. Like yeah. that one was insane yeah. compared to the like, Japanese. I mean, the Japanese one was good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely did feel that I think the world situation really did screw it over in a yeah, lot of yeah, ways. 100%. Yeah, because I was like. I like the idea that they were going for, but I feel it was like a little underperformed. I'm just like, where's the budget? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it, it really did the, feel the, like that. I just want to have the fucking queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, how much did that cost? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Daniel Craig be James yeah. Bond. There's no way he did that for less than like 50 million. Exactly. No, he yeah. literally hates James Bond. Why would he, <laughs> why would he as we've established, yeah. why would he want to do that? Exactly, right? For so, queen and country, yeah. obviously. So Bullshit. That's, Bullshit. So that's like, what only I was only if I get to wear my gloves. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's why I was hoping Hoping that like, you know, they would have at least, you know, some more like notable, like big, big people yeah. coming out in the opening, right? Cause like, that's, you know, the way to like open for your country and like be braggadocious about your country for yeah. once. But I feel that like- Yeah, it's the one time you can actually brag. Yeah, about, right. Yeah. And like people on. are waiting for you to brag, but like, I feel like the references that they did throw in were like super fucking subtle and like kind of offhand almost. Yeah, like, what, what was that guy that was tap dancing? I, di I didn't get that. He was literally, okay, yeah. <laughs> he was literally, I think it was, he's- the greatest tap dancer in Japan. Wait, so explain what, what was going on. I, I watched it, I don't remember this. So there was this tap. So what they did instead was instead of bringing out these like notable names, they brought out like Japan's best blank. So like they had like Japan's best tap dancer and he was performing and they're like, they had Japan's best like I jazz pianist. This. Yeah. I do remember this and I, I think I was like, why are they bringing in tap dancers in Japan? Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. A Japanese also thing? during a really like traditional like wood scene yeah, as well. And I'm like this, it's like 400 years difference between tap dancing and like Edo period. I, you know, when I, when I think Japan, I don't think tap dancing. No, 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 no. No. I don't I think, think tap dancing and jazz piano. Yeah. That's, that's it, it was just think. so surreal seeing like a tap dancer dancing on a stage with nothing on it to a crowd of zero people in a stadium that's meant for like 30,000 yeah. people. Oh, and it's so depressing seeing all the stadiums <laughs> empty. Yeah, I actually yeah, read yeah. that uh, they, so <laughs> the, the guy who designed like the, the actual stadium, 
he to make you know because obviously they couldn't put people into the stadium yeah. so what they did was he purposely designed the seats and arranged the colors to make it look like there were people sitting from a distance what how can the, you do there did not look Which, like there uh, were people does, sitting in the distance you, know, you decide all. if that was actually if that actually worked <laughs> yeah, I, I can but. say i tried to make my fart smell like watermelon doesn't mean <laughs> it fucking worked you know what i mean like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, well, i ate a shitload of watermelon yeah, it's like, yeah. what, what do you mean you tried don't yeah. you fucking didn't that that was the intent I think, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, obviously, you know, to, to varying degrees of success. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of it was unfortunate because I, I think another thing about the tap dancing is that it's because the stadium was so big and I don't mm. think the microphones were sensitive enough. I no. can hardly fucking hear it. <laughs> it was at, at that point, it was just like fucking stepping with attitude. That's 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 well, kind of the, what it felt the, like. The commentators, even in the, I was watching it on Japanese TV, yeah. they were explaining what was going on more than they were letting their audio play. Yeah. yeah. So. How, how good of an opening ceremony is that? If I need, I actually need a narrator telling me what's happening. Like yeah. legit, some of the stuff was so avant-garde. Yeah, that it was crazy. But like 60% of it, the commentators were like doing a fucking like audio commentary. Yeah, they were telling, like, they're, they're describing so, exactly what was going yeah, on. Yeah, it's like, so, like, so this, this represents blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, just let me watch it. Yeah. Shut up, just let me watch it's it. It's not very good if I can't discern what's going on. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching it through the British commentary and there uh, wasn't actually much commentary because I think they were just as confused as I was. What's going on? Also, they, also, it's not a good opening ceremony if you have to fucking talk over all of it. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't go and watch of Mice and Men and have someone narrate in my ear what's why why Lenny is doing all this shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't need this shit. It's, let it speak for itself. That's, it's, oh my God. I think I think the speech afterwards of like the Olympic committee actually went on for longer than the performance. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I, I zoned out. Yeah, I yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Like maybe that was because of a budget problem. Maybe it's yeah. because of the world situation. Uh, but I mean, like I think a lot more people. I think the only good thing that came out of it was probably Square Enix's stocks went yeah. because <laughs> of like the amount of music they used but at I the beginning. I, I want to know how Square Enix was basically just got over to got to like take over the opening ceremony. Yeah, I have no idea. Because there's so many other like slip, Japanese. Slip someone a tenner, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. But they literally like, you know, had the actual spotlight at that point. Like I remember as well, like it wasn't just Square Enix music. They literally played a song from fucking Sonic Adventure 2. Are you serious? There was, a, yeah, one of the songs that played in the set because the set piece uh, like, was leaked on Twitter before the actual like beginning mm. of that segment. And right. in the list, there was a fucking Sonic song. Rolling around at the speed <laughs> of sound. It wasn't that one. <laughs> I, I think if that Sonic. one played, I would have actually lost I my yeah. mind. I would have I given it a standing ovation. Bro. I would have been like, <laughs> they did it. They fucking did it. Yeah, Best it, opening ceremony yeah. of all time. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, they legit, I don't think it was Sonic Adventure 2, it was one of the Sonic games, but they, they legitimately played a Sonic song. And I'm just like- I mean, Sonic's pretty fucking iconic. I mean, yeah. hey man, like they did it, <laughs> I guess. But how did Sega get in and then Nintendo just didn't then? I, I, and I think that's why, like, that's where the confusion arose of like, yeah. okay, so like, obviously more people know, when you think of Japan from like a foreigner's yeah. perspective, mm -hmm. you think Pokemon and Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't think of Final Fantasy and Sonic. Would you say Sonic's more famous than Final Fantasy? It is, right? Sonic? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Isn't yeah. that weird? Because he's, he, he's, he's only had like three good games. Yeah. He literally just like, he's cashing you mean on the, the brand. The first three? Yeah, he's literally <laughs> cashing in on the brand recognition. He, he is, Sonic is one Yo, of those- Sonic he, Riders though. Okay, okay, Sonic <laughs> Riders is good. I recognize that it is not the best game. Sonic Riders at Battle Adventure 2 is good. And Sonic Mania. Heroes was weirdly okay. good too. But but isn't it strange though, that he, how Sonic hasn't had like the biggest sma smash hit games, yeah. yet he's mm -hmm. still like the one of the most recognizable That's the thing, figures. Sonic is- no. Purely surviving off of character design. Brand recognition. Like bro. I mean, he's, he's branding. just an icon. His right? character design is porn. fucking it's, brilliant. It's, gotta be all it's porn. brilliant. It's gotta be all porn. Yeah. I'm convinced. I'm, I'm it's all that porn. too. <laughs> But um, oh God, sorry. it's just the cult following, yeah, right? True. Like, you know, after Sonic, uh, the f uh, Sonic Three, mm -hmm. right? Like, we haven't had a single like good oh, Mania, Sonic game. Mania. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's kind of a remake of. Uh, it's, but not yeah, really. I mean, that, it's, that's it, up for debate, right? It, I like, mean, it's all like been two D Sonics. There hasn't been yeah. a good three D Sonic. All the two D yeah. Sonics were fantastic, except for you know yeah. all the three D Sonics, except for Riders, was you know absolute trash. And yet they can somehow pump out all these Sonic shit Sonic games, and people are still just like. I mean, the next one might Did be better. Do you play Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? No, I haven't. I fucking love oh, that game. Oh, I Is remember that. that. On, on, yeah. Dude, you like, when I've always wanted to play that game. On the, the 2008 Beijing Olympics one, yeah. you couldn't get a copy of that in the UK. It really? was like solo everywhere. I'm surprised they didn't do a re-release for this Olympics. I think they did last year. They did last <laughs> year. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, they did okay, last yeah. year.